if it's not MS-13, you're the target. If you're not in it, you're the target. If you don't want to be the target, most likely join. You know, you can't beat them, join them. MS-13 is one of the most violent gangs in America. MS-13 members used this 22 caliber gun to shoot his mother in the head and chest. The vicious and disgusting and horrible MS-13 gang members. We have machetes as a weapon of choice, chained sometimes with a lock, baseball bat. Fuck this it. has to stop. The killing's gonna stop. What is it gonna take? The FBI says there's been a surge in MS-13 activity and recruitment in the last two years. We wanted to know what leads some young people to join MS-13. They feel like they could do whatever they want because Trump himself has made everybody fear. All the immigrants, they feel like if they go to the police or something, they get deported. Because what Trump is saying that all the Hispanics are bad and everything, so like whatever happens to them, they rather stay quiet and let it happen. This gives them the opportunity to tell immigrants, what are you going to do? Are you going to report us? Look, they're deporting other innocent people. They're going to accuse you. They're going to associate you with us. These MS-13 gang members agreed to be interviewed on the condition that we disguise their voices and not show their faces. Speaking out against the gang can be deadly. The surprising thing about them is just how young they are. At 16 and 17, they've already been gang members for years. At one point, I feel like, damn, why am I in this? Is that what I'm going for? Taking somebody's loved one and hurt them? What if they took somebody from me? Murders from MS-13 don't only hurt one family, but hurt both. You get caught, family's never gonna see you again. We are getting them out, they're going fast. We're actually liberating towns like on Long Island, where I grew up. For some people, Long Island means summer in the Hamptons, but not far away from the mansions on the beach, MS-13 has been on a killing spree. Oh my God, no! The no, you didn't do that! In the last two years, the FBI says they've committed more than 20 murders on Long Island. What are these here? Uh, these are some of the subjects related to these cases. Since June, dozens of alleged MS-13 gang members have been arrested on Long Island. Law enforcement estimates their membership here to be in the hundreds. Central American immigrants are the gang's primary target. What we're seeing is that they're targeting some of the most recently arrived youth who are coming into families who also are in transition with their immigration status and young people who don't know a lot of people in the community who are easily targeted and, uh, and scared. Margarita, as she asked us to call her, is from El Salvador. Her teenage son is hiding in a safe house. She says MS-13 is trying to kill him because he refused to join them. She's a witness, but like many others, won't go to the police for fear she'll get deported. La mara como que siente que nosotros no tenemos el apoyo de la policía. Sentimos miedo para llamarlos a ellos. Entonces ellos se sienten como más libres de de andar molestando. La policía. Ellos piensan que porque nosotros somos inmigrantes, los hijos de nosotros son los pandilleros. We spoke with one mother who is afraid to go to the police because of her legal status here. She thinks there'll be consequences. That may be her perception, but I would assure her, and, uh, and I think this is probably true for most police departments in the country, but I can say without any doubt in Nassau County, we would make sure that we never, never ask any status, and we don't care um, on victims and witnesses. But immigrants aren't calling the tips hotline like they used to. Last year, we had over 50 calls. This year, we've had two. Between February and May of this year, ICE arrested on average 108 undocumented immigrants a day with no criminal record, an increase of about 150 percent from the same period a year ago. I, I've said it 100 times, that is a crime to enter this country illegally. We're going to target the most violent criminals, not the witnesses, not the, not, not the victims, to remove them. The president has said that deporting gang members, getting rid of MS-13 in the U.S. is a priority for his administration. 
What do you make of that? What I think about every time he says that is the way that this administration is using this as an excuse to advance their agenda of deporting and criminalizing immigrants. The MS-13 gang members I spoke with have a message for other young people who are thinking of joining up. There's a motto they go by, un chavala siempre chavala. Once an enemy, always an enemy. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. So, you can move anywhere you want. Know, They'll find out where you are. There's nowhere you're safe. You want to try to leave at one point, you're not going to be able to. So the message I'm going to give to everybody else that is thinking about it, don't join it.